Good morning. How's everybody doing? So, I had a wonderful day yesterday. Um, I taught the first day one of the Maximize Your Potential Period 9. Hello, Veronica. How are you? Haven't seen you for a while, honey. How's everything? You still in Hawaii? Yeah. Yesterday was a fun class. Well, the class itself was two and a half hour long. Then we stayed and chatted. So we didn't, we basically stayed it for like four hours and, uh, and 45 minutes. It's quite a long time. So yeah, it was, uh, it was really fun yesterday. Yesterday we were, well, yesterday I show the ladies, it was all women, the class, how to find the Ikage. So for those of you who don't know what Ikage is, I K I G A I is a Japanese term for basically finding your sweet spot, you know? Like I, I think that one was uh, like what you love to do, what people pay you to do, and uh, what the world needs. There was like one other spice anyway. But what I did it in the using the Chinese astrology, I kind of redid it a little bit. So what I did was I find what they're really good at. What you're really good at naturally. Okay, just natural talent. And then who you are, your personality, and then what people are paying you for. The type of job, whatever business you're in. And then where's your wealth? Because where your wealth tells you what kind of structure, like company structure, is best fitted for you. Some people are meant to work at big, big corporation. And some people are meant to be, like me, solopreneur. <laughs> or very, very few, you know, maybe like a me and an assistant kind of thing. You know, and then there are people who are like, you know, 20 or less people, kind of mom pop. I call mom pop. I don't want to use mom pop because it sounds like a small place, but you know, much smaller, intimate type of company size. So it depends on where your wealth is in your chart. That will tell me what you're comfortable or what you will excel best in. You know, I don't want to say the word comfortable. You know, you can, you can work in all different situations if you really want to, or different company structure, but there is one or two that you're more likely to incline, you know, so, it's, you know, like some people work, you know, I don't know, like thousands of people. To me, then I'll feel like I'm just a number, you know, <laughs> in a company. That's not kind of type of working relationship environment I like to do. So, it, it, everybody's different. Everybody's different and it's based on your chart. Some people do well in those large corporations. Some people do well in the mid-sized company. Some people do well in the small size. And, you know. Me, solopreneur, kind of really want three people kind of thing. Let's talk about today's energy. Let me see. Today, we are October, Monday, October 16th. Today is a receive day. And... It's a fire goat today, so it's not so effective for ox. And today's the daily power direction for manifestation. If you want to manifest for someone to, you know, for getting helps and stuff, it will be back to the northeast. For wealth related, it will be back to the northwest. For health related, it will be back to the west. And so is for relationship, back to the west. So let me just read to you what a receive day you should be doing. A receive day, use this day for healing. Well, hello, Denise. You missed a really good class yesterday. Oh, my God. We had such a blast. It was really good. So tomorrow, we are going to, tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, that's the second half of the class. Tomorrow afternoon, we are going to be, um... I'm going to be showing the ladies how to find what career, I should say career, yeah, career or business they should be in for period nine. Because period nine is coming in February and it's changing. The energies last for 20 years. It is governed by the fire triagram 
and uh, women's going to be middle-aged women's going to be coming into power. You're going to see a lot more women head of the company, head of the state. You know, it's going to be a lot more women's going to be coming into power. Okay, and the fire trigram. It's about beauty as well. <laughs> So you are going to see a lot of, um, how as I say, more beauty related businesses going to be popping up. So, I mean, that's what we, I'm going to talk about tomorrow night's class. And then on October 27th and November 9th, those will be two hands-on day on how to use AI to save your time. Save, cut your short, your work week by like one and a half day a week. Wouldn't that be nice? Three and a half day work week. That'd be nice, right? <laughs> yes, it's, it's switching, and uh, I don't like the way how, as I say, a lot of conflict is going on. But that is the energy of 2024, which I'm the wood dragon energy, which I'm going to be doing a feng shui talk. I haven't picked the date yet. It'll be probably sometime in November. For today, Basically, is a good day for you to do some self-care. Today is a self-care day. That's what it is. So, and you need to back to, what did I say, back to the West for that. Uh, we missed the, well, we didn't miss. I talked about there was a remove day as well. We had a remove day for removing. Let me look at. There'll be another remove day. So there's another remove day is October 20th, Friday, next Friday. Good for everybody except the snake. So, so that'll be a good day if you want to say get rid of bad habits, detox, do a cleanse. It'll be a good day. Next Friday. Yeah, why don't you take like a three day? Do like a cleanse weekend, right? Start on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then you'll be good on Monday. Monday is a, spa is a stable day, October 23rd. So today it is receive day. A good day for taking care of yourself. Well, thank you, Carol. <laughs> I am a wedding force who just started a bath and body collection. I'm happy to hear we're going into beauty session season. Yes. Yes, we are. That is the energy of the fire hexagram. There's total of nine transformation in the business and career. Um, nine different model, business model and industry. It's, it's going to be, I wouldn't say impact, it's going to be transformed because of the period nine energy. And uh, that's what we're going to be talking about tomorrow. Last night we talked about how to find the EK guy, which meaning the how to find the sweet spot, doing what they love, doing what is natural talents for them, so be effortless, and being in the right size of the company, business size you work in, and also what people are willing to pay you money for. That's the little spot. We found that full circle and that little spot. So yeah, it was it was really interesting. It was it was definitely not your Bodzi Astrology 101. <laughs> I was very ambitious in teaching that to but you know what? These have been follower my students have been followed for a while now, so they have know the content, they have attended all my other classes, and so you know what? It wasn't really hard, you know, as long as they're showing enough example, they got it, so I'm hoping. <laughs> and especially after they finish watching the replay, definitely. And then we're going to dive into what they should be doing for a period nine. I mean, you see, these are all the things you need to know about how to be, a hap be happy in making a living. You understand, right, guys? You know, you can't just go to work and hate your work. I mean, that is no way to spend one third of your life in. All right? It you, you can't thank you, Denise. It, it you can't do that. I, I don't want you guys to do that. I don't want you to go into your job and or doing your business, opening up the door and then every morning go, Hey my job, I hate my business, I wanna get out of here. That's not a that's not a sustainable sustainable things, okay, you guys. You realize that. 
you can tough it out for a little bit, but after a while, it's going to wear you down. It's going to wear you down on your health. And that's the most important thing. You know, no health, no wealth. Doesn't matter how much money you make, if you don't have the health to enjoy it, what's the point? What, you make all this money so you can spend all this money on seeing the doctors? I mean, you guys think about it. You really need to think about it. That's why, you know, I'm actually thinking of making maybe a simplified version of the class. It'll be like a self online class. I will put plenty of example and uh, be teaching you guys how to find your little happy medium, little happy spot where people's going to pay you money, where it's skill set that's natural to you, and where what size of company or client that you should be targeting, and who you are. Everything will fit together nicely. That is a key guy. It's finding that little spot where all those four things intersect. Because that is when you go, work is not like work anymore, and you're making good money. I mean, there's a lot of people working, love what they do, but not making money. They're pretty, very rarely, you know, few of them out there are doing what they want and making the money. Yeah. If you're doing what you love, but you're not getting paid, you're volunteering, basically, okay? That's, that's what it is. If you're doing what you hate and getting shitty pay for it, <laughs> that's insane. Okay? <laughs> this is how I go. If I'm doing what I don't like, I better be paid damn well good for it. I'll do it for a little bit. Not for long. So yeah, so there's always a, a balance of you getting paid what you like to do, or you're getting paid well for what you don't like to do, there had to be some sort of happy medium, right? And my whole idea is adding the astrology into it, is finding what you are good at, naturally, so it becomes effortless. The, the whole idea is effortless to me. You know, what's the point of struggling? What is the point of struggling, right? So... Yes, I love my business and feel so fulfilled when you're done. Perfect. That's what you should be doing. See, Bloom and, and Forage, I am still actually a florist. Only a very part-time florist now. And uh, I used to have my own flower shop for 11 years. The first two years was a challenge because... I never really have a business of my own. Never had to do with employee. Used to be just co-worker, right? You know, never had to do with employee, which is very different. Ball game completely. It was something for me to grow into, right? Being a business person. And uh, yeah, the San Francisco Farmer is wonderful, but it's changing quite a bit as well. They're moving too. It's no longer what it used to be. I remember this is like how many years ago? 20 some Oh my God. When did I open my flower shop? 1998. Yeah, 1998. That's when I opened my flower shop. It was very different back then. The, the flower market is very different. Farmers, growers, they would bring their fresh crop in, into the market and sell them. And you would go early just to have an opportunity to see what's available, what's fresh. Not anymore. Everything now is boxed in from Colombia, from uh, wherever. Nothing really grown in Cal California. You know the top three crop for California used to be roses, carnation, and chrysanthemum. We no longer grow carnation and chrysanthemum anymore. And there's still some roses, rose grower, but a lot of them is coming from south america because the weather is, is nice all year round so it's easier for them to grow especially during valentine's day you realize february is not a rose season roses it's actually summer flower okay it's actually a summer flower so but then somehow somebody gets an idea that you need to send roses during valentine's day in the middle of the winter when it's cold 
And uh, the local roses will have little tiny, tiny flower head because you have to like heat the greenhouse to be able to force them to bloom, to create the environment of warmth. Versus South America is naturally warm, right? Ecuador, naturally warm. So, and that's why roses are expensive during Valentine's Day. Okay, coming from a florist, I can tell you that that is why. The price more than double. The cost more than double. It's not it's not price gouging. I mean, for those of you who order roses during Valentine's Day, it is not the florist trying to price gouge you. It's we had to pay double everything, including the baby's breath, the leaf, everything went double. Okay? Yep. That's why. It's because it's, they're opposites. They're in the uh, southern hemisphere. So, yeah. It's... It's economic, guys. <laughs> it's like everything else, you know? I mean, God, don't get me started with the political stuff right now, what's going on, you know, around the world with the war, different war breaking out. It's all economic. Everything is about money. I'm going to be very, very honest. It's what, fighting over a piece of land? Resources? Oil? You know, that's what it is. Everything... Yeah, funny. This morning I watch a uh, either I think TikTok video or Instagram wheel. I can't remember. It was this guy walking through Costco. Say a year ago, the price have more than double the Costco prices. So it was you know on stuff. It was kind of crazy. Yeah, I know. I mean, I used to. I remember I used to go to Costco and I would hundred dollars would kind of get me a little further in the shopping cart. <laughs> now I'm like. Is that it? I just spent a hundred dollar on on what you know, <laughs> and even Trader Joe's. I remember Trader Joe's. My grocery shopping used to be you know twenty dollars or less. Now it's like forty some dollars for buying the same thing. And usually I just buy what I need: some milk, some oranges, some eggs, vegetable. You know that's about it. You know I cook most of my meals. It's because I truly believe in. There's food, there's energy in food as well. How's being prepared? And, the, you know, the intention when you make food, when you're preparing something for yourself or for your loved one, you want to inject good energy to your meal. Remember, at, okay, now this kind of maybe too old for some of you guys out there if you guys ever saw the movie light water for chocolate if you have not google that maybe it's on youtube somewhere light water for chocolate i mean does anybody remember the movie light water for chocolate it's a foreign film i think it was uh it's i think it's spanish can't remember it's latin it was i had to read the subtitle but the movie is so expressive, you know pretty much what the actor actress was, was trying to express even without the thing. Yep, that's right. See, everything have energy. Everything have energy. I and mean, just the like same idea, when I come on to talk to you guys, I try to give you guys as much love, peace, as I can okay see I'm sending energy out to you guys and that's why I I want people who are nice people <laughs> happy people on my on my channel you know that's that's what it's all about the whole world everything is about energy you have to remember everything's energy I mean if you guys don't believe that about talking positive to your food you guys Google up those uh, experiments they have done with the rice and the water, the crystal. It's actually started with a Japanese, uh, is he a scientist? I can't quite remember. About him talking negative to water, positive to water, and then freezing it, and then looking at it at the mic under the microscope to see what the, um, the snowflake, I guess, the, 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 the ice structure. And he can tell the difference when it's... When you say something nice to the water, the 
the ice formation is really beautiful, like a snowflake. When you send things the negative to the water, that it's like really disrupt the pattern. And then he had the control group. I think he had the control group as well, which is kind of like mm, nothing. So try that. Maybe you know. I mean, part of part of the. Um, I'm not a I'm not a religious person. I'm not a religious person. I don't identify myself with any particular religion. Okay. So, but I do like the idea of saying grace before you eat. Right. And you can still do that being non-religious, right? You can thank the universe for the food that you're about to eat. Being grateful. That's all. You know, being grateful. I mean, think about the people without food, without water. Oh, my God. We are lucky. Oh, my God. Still I'm getting emotional talking about this because I saw so many video last night. It's it's sad. It's really, really sad. But, you know, be grateful of what we have. Okay? We are not at war right here. We have food. We have shelter. We have water. We have medical care that we can access to. So be grateful. Be grateful for the food that you eat. And eat good food. Really, I'm seriously. There's energy in food. What you eat, it's what you eat. It goes into your body. That's why the thing is, you have to find within peace within yourself. I know someone just said, you know, we are at war within ourselves. Yeah, it's all those negative self-talk. And I want you guys to get rid of all that. Get rid of all that. You know, we just we just had the solar eclipse. I remember I went on and tell you guys that is a good time for you to get rid of all the negative belief, the limiting belief, all the negative talks you have. It, it was a good time to send them all to the solar eclipse, send them to the void. So... You just have to remember you need to take care of yourself. You really do. You know, nobody else is going to. So you have to learn to take care of yourself. By starting eating good food. And I don't mean like you don't have to have like caviars and lobsters and things. That's not what I mean. I mean good clean food. Food that you make for yourself. Food that I made with love. You know that grandma's food is always tastes better because grandma made it with love. That's why, guys. So, when you prepare your meal, spend some time thinking about the meal. Thinking of how grateful you would to have that meal in peace. You can sit and relax and having your breakfast, your lunch. It's like every morning. Well, I try to come out here every morning. I have my cup of tea. With you guys. That's how I start my day. With a nice cup of warm tea. To hopefully have a positive talk with you guys. Out there. I don't know how many of you. You know I me. Mean? I can watch how many of you guys are in the, in the chat. But I see people joining and scrolling through. But that's okay. If I can touch one person. Every day. Whenever I'm on. Or when I'm on, touch one person, whenever I'm on, I already accomplished my goal. If I can change one person's life, every time I come on, I did my job. <laughs> I did my job. That's my goal. Yeah, my, my thing is, I'm changing the world one person at a time. I am not like... Uh, as, as a, a major influencer. I'm like, you know, a tiny influencer. But I know I, I know my work, what I create, like this book, which I'm going to come up with the 2024 version. 
the classes that I teach, I know I change life. And it's like, I keep saying those ladies as you go, oh my God, you have no idea. You know, one was like, she go, I plan my life, all my thing pretty much around this. Which actually give her some time. She, so she's not stressed out over things. And she just say, you know what? It give me time to be by myself, for myself. Yeah, make your breakfast with Ma, with love, Marla K. That's right. Make your breakfast with love. You know, so I'm getting a little, a uh, little, just uh, so much stuff going on. Uh, I have such a to-do list. Let me see, I need to finish, I finished last night all the PowerPoint for the class tomorrow afternoon. Then I have to prepare for the class coming up October 27 and November 9. You guys are welcome to join me for that class. That is a two days hand. Two days is not like two days. It's probably, I would say, maybe two, three hour on two days because you can't do too much. It, people's brain get fried. Like yesterday, I can watch the lady's face. They're like, <laughs> I, I'm giving them too much information. <laughs> they were just like, but yeah, it will be the hands-on class. And if you guys, I do have a $150 off coupon code that you can use to sign up for the class. And But you do need to DM me that you want. So I have a limited of that. Because my whole idea is I keep my classes very, very small. So I can do the attentive to you guys for what you need to able to explain things. You know, like yesterday, we actually pull up one of the gal. She submitted her chart during the chat, and we literally look at and analyze her chart for her. So and that's that's how it is. You know, to me, it's easier. Life example: I can read her chart. I go, this is what you're doing right now, right? This is what your customer paying you to do, and yeah, it's all you can confirm them. So I mean, that's that's how I read my clients' chart. I mean, my clients pay me for how to read their chart. So now I'm kind of teaching my girls, my ladies, to read their own chart. So they know how to anticipate what is coming up and they can plan accordingly. I mean, that's the same idea. I wrote this book. You're not going to find this book for, I say, common people, not an astrolog not a Bajju astrology student. You know, but my whole idea is able to get in the hand for everybody so you can plan your your weeks your months much easier so so things go smoother you know like certain days will be better than the other i can tell you that right now and uh certain days like for example um i got a text message from one of the students she said but tomorrow it says avoid travel avoid all major activities can i still travel i go well on days like that, you need to make sure you have gas, make sure your air's in your tire, make sure your water's are top off in your car, you know, things like that, you know? So that way, you'll be okay. Make sure you get AAA phone number. <laughs> Andy. I mean, you know, it's like, if you do all the prep work, you try to minimize. I mean, the whole idea to have something like that like, hang on, I'm going to show you guys. Like something like this. Like, for example, like October 29. It's an open, it's an open day. And there's a lot of auspicious activities to do on that day. Okay. So, yeah, that's a good day to start new business, a project, start a new job. I would say if you're going to do a soft launch for your business, that probably be okay to do. Yeah. So. November 17th to 20th, okay. 17th, 17th is a good day. 18th is good. 19? Eh, not so good. 20th. Definitely do not go on. 
Do not go to your funeral or go to the hospital to visit your friend on November 20th. Especially if you're born in the year of the rat. See, that's what this does. It's to help you to plan to take a look at what type of energy that is happening on that day. What kind of things that you should be doing. You need to go inside, you know. There are good days for renovation. You're going to remodel your house. There are good days for that. And there are bad days that you shouldn't be doing that. So what happened? People go, well, what happened if you pick a bad day in the, yeah, the 20th? Is not, do not go to a funeral on that day, okay? November 20th. Don't. Because that is a double funeral day. And also, no visit sick day, okay? Yeah, Bloom and Forge, the, uh, so you guys can get the 2024 free if you join me in my Feng Shui Club. It's for the 2024 Wood Dragon. It's a private Feng Shui Club on Facebook. And uh, go to bio.asantimi.com. You will see the link to join the Feng Shui Club. It's a one-year membership. And you basically get, if you sign join now, you get, now till end of December next year and you will get the PDF version of the 2024 when I finish writing it and uh, that, that is part of the membership plus a monthly feng shui newsletter and any activation dates you know that I might find for you guys to do and any days and also days to avoid okay uh, yeah so but the hard copy it will be probably available for Amazon for pre-sale. I have to set that up soon. It will be, it'll be, it'll be available. I know a lot of you asked already to get the 2024 version. And actually, I was talking to the lady yesterday. <laughs> okay. okay, for those, actually, every one of them have the book. And uh, what things that I should change. And I want to keep the book still to a... This is already 428 pages, okay? I'm, I'm trying to keep it a decent size without growing it too big. So I will be adding the monthly calendar. I know people ask about the monthly calendar. I will be adding more reference chart, so it'll be easier for you to know which direction. What is double funeral means? That means that hap in when when that happened. That means there'll be another funeral shortly after. Yeah, I have a friend who did that. A friend went to went to uh, a friend went to uh, someone's funeral, and uh, it was a double funeral day. Literally, it was the friend's father passed away, and he attended. Well, actually, he attended the double funeral day, and soon after, within a week, the uncle who attended who attended the double funeral on a double funeral day also passed away. Okay, so that's what that means. Yeah. There's only very few of them throughout the year. That was one thing I put like on the special note on there. Yeah, not a good day. So there, like certain days, you know that the energy is just makes it tough for a lot. It's like everything, if things will go wrong, it goes wrong. So, I mean, that's the whole idea. I mean... I, okay, I'm going to be very honest with you guys. Originally, this book, I created for myself. Okay? I created this book for myself because I want something that I can use almost like a diary, but not quite like a diary, but a daily planner. You know, so I can write down stuff. You know, I, hey, you have no idea how much, you know, I have like a goal setting page for the beginning of the year. That I put that, like what what are the things you plan to do, you know. I'm going to separate the, um, see, write down the next few pages, what you're going to be doing for 2023. And, yeah, I, I'm actually going to, I mean, like thinking of how I want to do this, I'm going to make this a little bit different. And I know people, all my, my, my ladies, when I, when I show them yesterday, I go, this is, they're like, one of them is, uh, <laughs> it's really funny. I don't know, is Paula still here? Paula's still here or not? She is a school teacher. 
And she, I go, how come you're not writing in your book? She goes, oh, no, I, I'm a school teacher. I, I, I can't write in books, you know. She's just not used to writing in books. I go, look at <laughs> I use this. I use this. You guys have to remember, if you have a goal, whatever is written down, you have more high chances for it to come to fruition. So, and that's what I have. It's the, well, this one is 2023 Water Rabbit Feng Shui Guy and Planner by Asante Me. Um, but I'm going to do the 2024 because this one only go out until December. So we only have a few more months left. But if you join my Feng Shui Club right now, the October through December, the PDF version is in the, it's in the club. And so you will have access to that. And then I'm going to work on the 2024. Once the 2024 is done, the hard copy available and the PDF version will be available for the club member. So you save some money buying one from Amazon. <laughs> it's part of, you know, it's part of benefit. I, I give a lot to my followers. I give a lot to people who really want to learn. And that's kind of, I want to support you if you want to learn. That's why I teach classes that are not your your beginner courses. I, and I know I go sometimes I get a little too ambitious, and I was I always try to find a way to explain it as simple as possible. So you understand? Is it okay to go memorial uh, memorial ceremony? Is it going to be held in a funeral home? Yeah, or just a, or a restaurant? I mean, I don't know. I would avoid it. I would avoid it if possible. I see Aurora's over there. Right, Tavi? Well, no, okay, so several things you need to take precaution. On the double funeral, fee, double funeral day, Tavi, is the day against you, okay? You have to look at the day animal. If the day animal is against you, that's kind of like, two strikes okay if it doesn't if it doesn't go against you hmm, might be okay because you're healthy right you're healthy you'll be might be okay so oh you're welcome Aurora you, you should Aurora you should come join me in the feng shui club seriously you should come join me in the feng shui club and uh, I'm gonna go even more deeper dive I'm going to do more teaching for this because I know the day is is my sign. What day, Tavi, what day is that you're talking about? Oh, you're you talking about which day? Give me the day. Let me take a look. October 28th. It's a received day. Let me just double check. Oh, let me turn on my computer. Uh oh. How come my computer's. Oh, I don't know. Hang on. I got to plug it in. I guess I let it sit and drain out the battery. That's what happened. Hang on. Let me. This is a new laptop, so I gotta figure out how to <laughs> turn it on. <laughs> it's on the side here somewhere. Uh, is that a button? I think there's a button. Oh, I have 71% battery. Why did I plug it in for? Hmm. It's a new laptop. It's my loner right now until my other one gets fixed. Okay. Okay.
Okay. Come on. It's loading up slowly. Sorry, guys. Tammy, I'm South Africa, recently relocated to Saudi Arabia. Can you send me the link via email to join? Don't want to join. Don't want to join a different class. Uh, Roar, which class are you joining the club, the Feng Shui club? I can I can send you the Feng Shui Club link, you know, or if you want to learn the AI class, that's there's another AI class as well, the Feng Shui Club link. Okay, I'll send you the link for that. <laughs> yeah, I know you joined the wrong class <laughs> last time. <laughs> I know I named my class kind of a little too close, too similar. Okay, come on, what's going on here? Uh, hang on. Does your boat go in goes in good business day? I have two vendor event in November and I hope to plan more December March for my yeah. Yes. It goes into different dates that is good for certain you know, okay. So there's certain days for certain activities. So like for example <laughs> So at the beginning, so remember I, I said there's like, you know, there's like, we call it balance day, full day, receive day, all that stuff. So I have, I explain how to use this, like all the day, what they're good for doing. So for example, an initiate day is a good day to start project on new things. That are wealth related as well. And the success day definitely is wealth related activity. Open day will be a good day for sales pitch, networking, or go on a date. So, yeah. So you just, that's how you use the different energy. You go through the book. Find your day first that you plan to. You go like, oh, I'm going to think maybe this or that day. Then you start looking through that. Is there activity? Like on this day here, for example, this day is March 7th. It said to avoid major activities, right? It says to avoid major activity. But then if you do it on Wednesday, which is an open day, and that day it's good for networking or getting together. See? And I list the activities on what to do, what to do for. All right. So, Tavi, hang on. Let me find, what do we say? You said October 28th, right? Hang on, let me just pull up. And show. What day is what what time is the funeral, honey? Oh the uh memorial service ceremony. I hear something. Uh oh. I think my cat is heaving. My cat is heaving. Oh, I better go check on my kitty cat. So October twenty, October twenty eighth. It's Saturday. Let me just take a look at what are the good hours are. So the good hours, I hope, is between Tavi. I hope it's between uh, nine. Actually, between 9 through 5, it's okay. Okay. Can you please change your gender for me? What are you talking about? I don't understand. Yeah, that's fine. 1.30 to 4.30 is fine. Okay. Yeah, one thirty. One thirty is one thirty is okay, because it's starting in the uh, horse hour. Horse, horse and goat is okay. Horse and goats is okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. 
it's November 1st, a good day to start a business. Let me take a look. Start a new job. Starting a new job. Not the best. Not the best. Okay? Not the best. Oh, they asked you to speak. Okay. All right. So. All right. All right. What time is it? 11.06. I'm going to have my breakfast. That's what I'm going to do. Well, hun, bloom and forage. What what year what ear animal are you? You have to know your year animal. Hi, baby. How are you doing? You are heaving. I heard you heaving. You okay? Huh? What's the matter, honey? Uh, she come up to me. I don't know. I think she wants mommy. I'll be right with you, sweetie. Not the best. November 11th, not the best. And what do we say? November 19th. November 19th November is a destruction day, especially bad for Peg. Sorry to tell you that. Yeah. So you guys need to get the book, man. Get the book. Actually, join the club. Then you can have the book for free. And uh, plus monthly new letter. So I don't know if you can get along, sweetie. I don't know your credit. <laughs> your credit score. That determine if you can get your loan. Can I sit with my back to the Northwest Black Tortoise? I don't know. Depend on what you're doing. Chrome, depend on what you're doing. So, okay. You guys are tossing me day. You have no idea what is this. Crystal Bear, the book is available on Amazon, but I would not suggest you to buy it. I mean, I was selling what I have left my, in my inventory, but I have nothing left, okay? Because it's still full price at, on Amazon, but as I say, you can, instead of going to Amazon, buy the book, just join my Facebook club. And if you go to bio.asantimi.com, I'm going to pin that right there, you will find the link to say join Join the uh, the Feng Shui Club. It's a it's a one year commitment. Okay, the reason that I made a one year commitment so that way, I want you guys to stay there, and really learn. Okay, I want you guys to learn. Because it's not about just picking one day. Okay, you have many many things happen. You can plan your your activities around it. Okay. You have mirror, you have the rental house, you have mirror door in the bedroom, can't alter it, what can you do? If it's facing your bed, I would go to Ikea. You can install the curtain rod, because Ikea have draped that like ceiling to quite long. And they're quite reasonable, okay? Just put the curtain over it. That's all. As long as you keep the reflection to your bed away. How much is it to join the Facebook group? It's $250 for 15 months of membership. So it's quite cheap. Because my Patreon right now, the level of information you guys are getting is the $25 a month level. So you guys are getting like a super good discount already. Plus I'm giving you guys the book for free. The PDF version. Yeah. So yeah. 
You have a question. Your bed is him, a window next to a door. Is that bad? But I don't have a choice. I have no idea. I'm trying to read. It's pinned. Bio.asantemi.com <laughs> Actually, I got this off Amazon. Yeah. So I put it in again. It's bio.asantemi.com Go to my profile. Uh, did I? Oh, maybe I haven't updated my profile. Uh, I can't remember. Anyway, you'll see a picture of a pair of dragon. It's the Feng Shui Club. So... Behind a window, your bed is behind a window next to a door. Oh my god, you shouldn't be typing while you're driving. Not safe, not safe. Your your bed is behind a window. You mean your headboard is, is up against the window and next to a door? Yeah, not safe, not safe, okay? You know what, it depends on how, how high is the window, right? Some window could be small one up above the bed. Some window can be... Pretty big, which you don't want to have your head pointing the window. Not good. Um, you can put a very, very thick, strong headboard if you can. And facing the door depends. You mean literally your bed, the foot of your bed facing the door? Not good. So I would suggest find a new place. Mm. Yeah, it's on my profile too, yes. I'm not wearing any perfume, and if I do wear any, usually it's rose essential oil. And that's what I like. Pure rose essential oil. And then, <laughs> they are like, last time I got them, they were like, uh, I don't know, it was like $100 for like teeny, teeny, weeny. But when you have essential oil, it's really nice. It stays, and you know, one window each side of the bed and a dresser. With the mirror at the front of the bed. You mean facing your bed? Not good. Cover the mirror. Okay. You should. You, the French door, you should. Yes, you should. I know I know. a lot of people think it's, it's grand to have your double French door open up to your bed. Not good. Not good. Okay. No, it's not from doTERRA. It's not from doTERRA. It's not from doTERRA. It's from another from another company. Uh, God, I can't remember. Yeah. You're welcome, Chrome. Yeah, I love... I see. Okay. I know when I used to be younger, remember the roast milk, you know, like grandma would wear? <laughs> I used to like... Oh, I don't think I like, like roast. Until when I smell real essential oil from roast. It's very, very nice. Okay, very, very nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's what I like. Rose oil, essential oil. It's like tiny, but all you need is just a little dab, dab, and that's it. It's just really nice. Very nice. Okay. All right, I think we have all the questions that we have answered today. And I'm going to go have breakfast because I'm hungry. I am hungry now. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow's Tuesday. Oh, tomorrow's morning. Is a, tomorrow's a busy day for me because I have doctor appointment. I have class. <laughs> I, ooh, I don't know if I'm able to see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, you do well. The crystal ba basic is you do not want to have a mirror facing your bed. You don't want that, okay? Well, you know what, honey? If you're having a terrible year, maybe you should engage me in a discover your gifts and talents reading. Okay, then I can take a look at charts, see what's going on next year, and then we can talk about it. All right. Bye. Love you all. Have a great day.